In this tutorial, we're going to take some footage that was shot outside at the beach in the wind and replace the audio with another track that was done in the studio. We will use Twixter to lip sync the new audio to the original footage. Let's take a look at the original shot. This is Christopher Holly from the Christopher Holly Rollers. I shot him playing one of my favorite songs that he does called Dance All Day. We shot at the beach and unfortunately it was a very windy day. You can hear the wind blowing over his singing. This is a common problem when you're doing an outdoor shoot. So let's see how Twixter can fix it. Now let's go to our After Effects project and listen to the new audio track that we will use. You may notice that this is an electric guitar and there are also some drums. This will just add to the character of our final output. We're going to also do some speed ramping for an artistic effect. We will turn to Twixter and animate the frame number and the output control to sync the video to the new audio track. We can go back to traditional animation lip sync techniques to accomplish this task. Let's look at the source footage first. We can turn the audio on so we can hear and mark down our audio cues for when Christopher starts to speak a word and when he ends a word of a lyric. I write down these frame numbers and then let's look at the audio file. I listen to this and write down the corresponding frame number for the same start or end of word. Let's go to some of these keyframes. We will want to put this project in half res so it renders RAM previews a little faster. And also it will really help to turn off motion vectors because Twixter will render so much faster while we're animating the frame numbers. We will put both of these back on when we render the final output. We'll also put the display in source mode so that we can find the frames of lip shapes in the original timing before retiming them for Twixter. He starts by singing when the morning sun comes up. I had marked the W sound on the source and the same on the audio. It's frame 237. Let's go to frame 237 and type frame 280. So now Twixter will make frame 280 sync to frame 237 of the audio track. Let's keep going down the list. When the morning sun comes up. Now we want the P sound of up and that's at frame 308 of the audio track. Let's type frame 350 of the video. Let's do a couple more before we check the result. When the morning sun comes up. Warm kiss. The next bit is warm kisses on your face. So we have the w sound again at frame 444 of the audio track and we type frame 474 of the video and the last word is face so it's the s sound the audio track keyframe is frame 536 and we will set frame 579 of the video to that now let's go ahead and check out our results so far we will do a quick RAM preview by hitting this arrow key. Remember we have motion vectors off and it's half res so the quality will look a bit rough. But the wait time will be far less. When the morning sun comes up. Now that looks the way I would expect it to, so I'll continue doing the same pattern of going to the frame of the audio track that has the audio cue and type in the corresponding video frame. Before we, we render, we will want to put motion vectors back on best and go back to full resolution and also change the display back to Twixtered output. Let's look ahead at the result. When the morning sun comes up, the warm kisses on your face. Your baby. 
baby's lying next to you. Yeah. Don't you let Not bad, I would say. We have shown how to lip sync audio and video using Twixter, and this technique can be used to align any video or audio source. So this is a useful technique for more than just lip syncing. <laughs>